Because we've now moved away from delivering babies as vaginal breaches, and because many women don't want to have a caesarean section, and we as, as healthcare providers don't want to increase our caesarean section rate, it's become a very much established practice to offer a woman an external cephalic version. And what that means is trying to turn the baby that seems to be persistently bottom first, turn it around within mum's tummy so that it's now coming head first. Um, and we do that uh, at term, because although it's a bit easier to do it earlier than term, there is some evidence that the earlier you do it, the more likely it is that that baby will turn back again. Obstetrician Nabil Morgan regularly performs ECV, external cephalic version, on the delivery suite. He very quickly gets to know which babies will move and which ones won't. Yeah, this kind of established itself here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not more than in any direction. Okay. So it's, uh, it's not safe to keep doing it. It's right. Okay. okay. Sorry. No, thank you for joining. No worries. The procedure is, is simple, but as any procedure in, in medicine uh, has got certain risks and that's what we do ex explain usually to the pregnant women. Joanne Weeks is 37 weeks pregnant and her baby is still lying with his bottom down. She has come into the hospital for an ECV. The procedure in itself is we first examine them and scan them to make sure that the baby is still breached. Then we monitor the fetal heart for 25 minutes, half an hour to make sure that the baby is absolutely happy before starting the procedure. And that is because there is a, a very small risk uh, which is quoted as one in a thousand that the baby might get distressed from the procedure itself. And then afterward, we are happy that the procedure, that everything is fine. We give an injection called terbutaline uh, to relax the muscles of the womb and hopefully allows the procedure to be performed in an easier way. And then when the injection is given, after half an hour, we come in and try to turn the baby around under the control of the scan to see how we are progressing with, with the maneuvering around and uh, making sure that the baby is also happy because we can see the fetal heart uh, and monitor it while we are doing the procedure. It shouldn't be a painful procedure. Okay. Uh, it should, if you feel too painful mm -hmm. or you really can't tolerate it, just let me know. If you put your hands on your side, that's mm -hmm. fine. Unfortunately, the success rate of this procedure is only 50-50 chance and um, depends on the success. If we are successful, then the women go home and wait for natural start of labor. If we are not successful, we usually offer a cesarean section delivery at 39 weeks. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's the baby's head. Oh, wow. oh that's oh well. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? Well, that's it. That's well, wasn't it? No, no, no. <laughs> when it's easy, it's easy, <laughs> isn't it? Oh well done, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Fortunately for Joanne, the procedure has worked and she should go into labour naturally in a few weeks' time. Head down, but because it's just been turned, it, it's not engaged. Yeah, a little right, so, Yeah, but most of the time it will stay. Yeah. We stay down. We just when you come so, in labour, just make sure you are being checked carefully. So, head there. Head is here now. Body. The body is on this side. Here, and arms. Yeah. And legs should be around there. So that's the head. Yeah. So, yeah. See that circle there. How did that feel, Joanne? It was. It was actually fine. There was a bit of discomfort down here, but that was it, and it was done. Do you feel? Do you feel that she's been? Oh well, I felt a big lump, and then no, I didn't. It was just. It's really weird. It's felt a lot of pressure, and then I thought there's obviously something pressure on one of my organs, and then it's done. Fantastic. Two seconds.